<laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream tonight. How's everyone doing? I'm excited to see you all here. Rue, I have a question for you, man. Have you come up with any more fun, uh, <laughs> fun questions? One of these days, I need to just shoot you a message and remind you to just, like, send me a, uh, a bunch of them. Because what I was thinking of doing is maybe, uh, <laughs> no kisses, I can't see this time. Uh, cat, cause, there you go. <laughs> uh, I was thinking of seeing if I could set up something on Streamlabs to where we, well, I guess I could just like manually change it every day. It's probably what we'd have to do. But anyways, basically a question of the day and just have it like pop up in chat every once in a while or whatever. Indeed you have. I am excited to hear it. I want to know. You have plenty. Like I said, I need to, I need to remind you, just like send me a list of them and we'll do question of the day. And uh, it'll either be a mod command that, like, one of you guys can just pop in chat and have it pop up. Or we'll have it on a timer to show up every once in a while. The only thing I don't like about the timers in Streamlabs is it's not very consistent. I think if you have a lot of people chatting consistently, then the, the timers will be consistent. But otherwise, it seems like the timer starts at some threshold and then waits a certain amount of time and then waits for another chat threshold before it actually fires it off so like we have to have so many messages within a certain time period it seems like and then the timer starts and then if we get so many messages within a certain time period the message fires so the problem is if it takes you know 30 minutes for us to hit that threshold then it'll show like two or three messages all at one time which is really annoying i want them to be spaced out i have them set to be spaced out but they don't, and it makes me angry. Question of the day. If you were to be reincarnated, would you stay in this world or choose to be reborn in your favorite TV show? Reincarnation. Okay, so not we can't live our current life because our current life is over. It's the next life. Next question. What is my favorite TV show? Because <laughs> I don't necessarily want to live in, like, I don't know, Game of Thrones, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who's kind of cheating, though, because it's just our world, but better. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> I would like to be reincarnated as a, uh, as, as a person in, in Doctor Who, for sure. Dude, anything that would give me the chance of meeting the Doctor, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? Doctor's fucking sick, dude. <laughs> Role model... I was gonna say of the year, just role model of, of all time, man. Love the doctor. But yeah, I feel I do feel like that one's a little bit cheating, because it really is just our world with the occasional alien invasion. <laughs> like, <laughs> but if I could be one of the doctor's companions, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um Scooby-Doo, yes, that's that's a really good option. I'm trying to think of like what is actually my favorite animated TV show. Scooby-Doo is up there on the list, but I don't know if it's technically my favorite. You know what I mean? I really like Scooby-Doo. I really like Futurama. Uh, what else is there? Like, anime-wise, I really like Full Metal Alchemist. Death Note. I don't think I'd want to live in the world of Death Note, to be honest. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy, man. Just... Uh, books being thrown around every once in a while that can just, you know, murder people with just a face and a name. That's a little fucked. Uh, Pokemon back in the day, but not so much anymore. Yu-Gi-Oh! would be kind of cool. It's not really one of my favorite shows these days, but like, being able to actually play the card game the way they play it, you know, with the, the giant holograms and shit like that, that would be pretty sick. That, that would be pretty cool. Favorite animated TV show? Is there any I go back to and rewatch? Besides Dragon Ball, man, I guess not. Like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. I don't even know if I would technically consider that one of my favorites. But uh, that and Full Metal Alchemist are like the only two anime that I've actually rewatched. I have rewatched some episodes of Scooby Doo, but I don't own the entire series, so I haven't like sat down and watched the entire series before. What other cartoons are there? <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering cartoons, dude. But uh, yes to Scooby-Doo, if Scooby-Doo would, would be it. Um, yes to Doctor Who, for sure. Full Metal Alchemist is a yes. That world would be awesome to live in. 
Dragon Ball, no. I mean, the world has been destroyed multiple times. So, uh, no. I'll, I'll pass on that one, man. Uh, Death Note, probably no. Other ones are just, like, boring. Like, uh, I really like this anime, Erased. Um, actually, I watched the live-action version first. I think I prefer that. But anyways, it's just a... Again, it's just, like, basically our world. So, kind of boring. <laughs> At least with Doctor Who, I could, you know, potentially meet the Doctor. Maybe be a traveling companion or something. That would be dope. That would be really, really cool. I'm all for that, dude. Rue would do Scooby-Doo. Be part of the gang if you can. That would be really cool, man. Which uh, iteration of Scooby-Doo? Are we talking, like, classic or newer, edgier Scooby-Doo where ghosts are real and stuff? Which, uh... Which version would you go for? And of course, Noodle Pick 70 Show. <laughs> Wouldn't mind hanging out with the gang on 70 Show. Of course, no surprise there. See, again, though, I feel like that's a little bit of a boring one because it's just the, the normal world. They they literally live on Earth just... You know, four, oh, God, I almost said 30 years ago. Ah, <laughs> time has escaped me 50 years ago. Okay, how do we play this game again? R2 is run. L2's zoom. That's our light. Can I turn off the light? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, that's inventory. That's also light. Clementine. Find Clementine. Symbols on the back of this should help us. How do we... Ugh. Ah, this one. Okay. Green dots, red dots, no. Gotcha. You had to choose probably the early 2000 versions. What new Scooby Doo? Good pick. Good pick. I'm trying to remember exactly what we did to get here. <laughs> uh, I think we just came up here, right? If I remember correctly, this is the way we came. We're in like the third section, the, the next town or city or whatever, ran from the Zerks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's coming back to me a little bit. It's been a while, man. Noodle brought up a good point. If we finish this game, maybe we could start doing uh, Pokemon as our filling game. Don't worry about trash. Neko Corporation takes care of everything. Is that supposed to be like Neko like cat? It's spelled differently, but I'm wondering if that's like the, the play on words. Elk? I already told you five times, Yosh. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. You look fluffy. I can't talk to Yosh? Yosh don't like me? Well, fine, I don't like you either, Yosh. Peacemaker22106. Please state your identity. Is the robot cop? Cooperate or we will have to transfer you to jail and reboot your one. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Bodrin? Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine. I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Okay. So we need to find a place called the residence. Translate. Access to lower level is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Okay. Secrets? Hello. Who are you? Bonabot? Do you hear that down below? That ebb, that flow? The city haunts me. It taunts me. Are you... Are you a poet or a musician or something? I feel like you're a poet or musician or something. Clementine used to hang out with her, but she wanted to leave. She was a breeze and then she flew. She's a wanted person now and too heavy for me. You hear that? That ebb, that flow? Can I knock over your little... I forget what these things are actually called. The little golden kitty thing? That trash the city blast is no joke. Every day, Necocorp is doing this relentless work, but not me. Aren't you cool, dude? Is that where we came from? Are we, like, slowly... Yeah, we're slowly moving up, right? So we came from down there somewhere. And then we traveled to that tree area, and then somehow that led to here? Maybe the top of the tree? 
it might come back to me eventually. <laughs> I was just happy whenever I got up here that my PlayStation 5 controller was actually charged. It's uh, It's been a little while since I've played on the PS5, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Between messing around with the GameCube and, and uh, streaming PS2 all the time, I haven't really messed with uh, any other consoles. <laughs> Hi, I actually just wanted to talk to you, but oh, well, you just phased right through me that time. That was lame. Wanted Clementine, troublemaker, outsider, rebellious. Please report any sightings. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Midtown. Clementine, are you here? Are you home? Hey, I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, honey. Be ca cautious of the sentinels. They are quick to make arrests for no good reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. Can we go in? Who are these people? No. Apparently not. Lame. Hello, sir. And you are... Well, hold on. I gotta scratch this couch first, and then <laughs> we'll ask you some questions. Oh, dude, he's reading How to Be a Ninja. If we jump up here, can we actually, like, see the book? Oh, it's written in robot language. Useless. Hello, sir. Vladdy? Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day, my other arm, too. Oh, this is that whole boat thing. If you slowly replace every part of yourself, are you still really you? Or are you a completely new being? And then my body and so on until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software. Will I be the same robot you were talking to now? Yeah, saw that coming. I didn't expect something so uh, philosophical from... from a dude reading... That was a trick shot. Did you see that, dude? We just sent that... Is that supposed to be a... Is that supposed to be a sound card? I'm guessing sound card based off of the ports that it has on it. Anyways, <laughs> didn't expect something so philosophical from someone reading on how to be a ninja. Oh, yeah, that thing. What do you think, man? What are your guys' opinions? Let's say you have a boat, right? And you take that boat on out on its maiden voyage... But it gets a little it gets a little dinged up, so you replace a couple parts, and then you take it out again and you replace a couple more parts, and twenty years from now, every part of that boat has been replaced with a new part. Not a single original part of that boat still exists. Is it still the same boat or is it a separate boat? It's a good question. I don't think there really is a right answer, hence uh, you know, philosophy. But I, I would agree with Rue. It to me, it's still the same boat. I mean, if you think about it, you yourself work the same way, right? All of your cells in your body die and are reborn, re, re, reconfigured <laughs> over the years. But you're still you, right? I don't know. That's how I look at it. Because it's, it's more about, like, the experience and the journeys and not so much the wood that makes up the ship. At Necocorp, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it has been a while since we had news from them. They're all dead, my guy. Is this going to be the same wanted sign? Yes, yes it is. I kind of want one of these little three-wheeled things, I'm not going to lie. I think they'd be fun to drive. Slow, but fun to drive. Ray Miles, sorry little one, you can't play over here. The Necocore factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. Uh, I don't think I got a few years, my guy. Where art thou, Clementine? Hi, are you Clementine? Blazer. I'm busy, what do you want? Wow. Rude. Well, you know what? Maybe you know something about Clementine. You you seem like the fishy type here. Buzz off, okay? Mm, guess not. <laughs> he is no help at all. Oh, 
God, there's so many. Oh, I thought those were all people. Those are. Are those. Are those decommissioned robots that they're using as mannequins? <laughs> it's kind of. Uh, a little morbid, ain't it? Clubs close, get lost. So many helpful people in this town. This merchant crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. And I just pretends not to hear me every time I try to confront him. If it wasn't for the sentinels on patrol, he'd end up his spare part. Um, I'm not sure, my guy, but he might be dead. That is a possibility. I'm just saying. 2458EDOC. Is that a code for a safe? I feel like that's a code for a safe. Maybe that safe. What was it? Was it 2458? 2458. Two, no. What the hell was it? God damn it. Jump down. Translate again. It is 2458. E D O. Oh, it's written backwards. E D O C is code. So 2458 backwards. 2548. 8542. I gotcha. Can't trek me for forever. Got a cat badge. Is that helpful? <laughs> Do we. Do we need the cat badge for something? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I can't show you anything? I wanted to show you my fancy new cat badge that I got, man. How about you, Mr. Sentinel, sir? You collect all the badges to get a trophy. That makes sense. You don't care either, man. No one cares about my cat badge. I'm very disappointed. This seedy alley looks like a good place to go. Sure we won't run into any trouble down this way. Hmm. Maybe just keep running around to the right? get up there maybe maybe not hello you Albert you've been in the city below I had a friend there Fifi I haven't seen him in ages did we meet Fifi we probably did my memory uh not so great though so Jilo. You used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee. <laughs> and it's closed now. I used to be an adventurer like you once. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee. Even if this guy bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hmm... I am admittedly a tiny bit lost. Okay, so we came over here. We're supposed to be going to the right. Doesn't seem to be anything we can do here. Or there. Oh, this is somewhere new. Oh, this is somewhere completely new. Wait, how do we... How does this link back up with the other side? Oh, God, I'm lost. <laughs> it's fine. Joe, isn't it so cool right now? So chill. I think that nothing bad could happen to us. Do you know Clementine? Oh yeah, I know her. I used to see her a lot. I think she lives around here. She was always talking about leaving the city. I don't get it. This place is great. Why leave? I uh, think you're a little too chill, man. Mo. Joe and Mo. Mo seems pretty chill. DJ Matt C. Tonight at the Goro... Two club Goro, I ah, <laughs> what's the little two? That's not cubed. Is it cubed? No, it's not cubed. Cubed is three, squared. <laughs> Goro squared. Holy shit, dude! My mind completely blanked. It's been a little while since I've done proper math. 
<laughs> Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Never answered our philosophy question, love. If you replace every part of a ship, is it still the same ship? Who are you waving at? Miko. Hey, dumb face. We can see you too. Wait, what? Who? I can't see anyone. There's someone hiding up here. Oh, there was cameras. Just the inside or literally everything? Literally everything over a uh, extended period of time. Ooh, okay, there's symbols. Symbols on these doors. So we were looking for <clears throat> this one, right? I think it was this one. Oh no, it's three and five. Not two and three. Three and five, okay. So there's two and four. There's two and five. So it must be the next floor up. Must be the next one up. Do you get anything from me buying Humble Bundles, current bundle? Yes, as long as you use my link. Um, G-M-B-L-E, Humble. There you go. As long as you use that link, uh, it helps me out. It supports me, it supports the stream, and you get some awesome video games at the same time. You don't know law because eventually it won't be the same anymore? I mean, even for for the sake of argument, let's say it was replaced with identical parts, right? Or, or functionally identical parts, at least. Um, is it the same ship? It's a philosophical question. There's not any right or wrong answer. It's just, you know... An interesting thought. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? Wait, are these guys D&D &D nerds? <laughs> I spent the whole week preparing this session. Let's go, dude. Kinu, I'm sorry. I forgot where I put it. But let's play anyway. I will go in that cave. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, I want to hear them. I just want to listen to them finish up their uh, their D&D &D game here. Wouldn't be the same. It's a twin after a while. Fair. Like I said, I don't think there's any wrong answer here. I argue that identity is more about a group of experiences than, than the parts that make up something. So my argument is that it is the same, but everyone's, everyone's different, obviously. If you don't have it, I need you to get current bundle. It's only 15 for all. Also, if you don't have it, I need you to get current bundle. Are, are you telling me to buy stuff right now, sir? <laughs> this isn't how this is supposed to work. I'm supposed to shill things to you guys. What is the current Humble Bundle? I'm looking it up right now because you have me curious now. Oh, God. There's a million of them. Which one? 11-Bit <laughs> Studios? Train Simulator? Is that the one you're talking about? No, that one's only $12 for everything. So it's not Train Simulator. I don't know how I feel about Train Simulator. As much as I love train games, I don't know if I'd like that, you know? Pay at least $15 for these 37 items, a lot of which is DLC. Oh, it's board game shit. Okay. I'm into board game shit. Ticket to Ride, Splendor, Mysterium... I, Car Carcassonne? I don't even know what that is. Small World? Splendor? I've never heard of most of these. I've heard of Ticket to Ride. And I think that's it. <laughs> Blood Rage? Mysterium? Yeah, no. I don't think I've heard of any of these. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm into it. I'll probably end up picking it up. Still good for 13 days if anyone wants to pick it up themselves. But, uh... Yeah, no, it looks pretty cool. I like board games. Board games are fun. It's something we could do for a uh, potential community day one of these days, too. So that's that's cool. What are you exactly? A cat? A quadruped making cute sounds? I like the concept. It is a great concept. Okay, this is 3-1. We're looking for 3-5. Uh, over here, maybe? No, wait. That's back down, isn't it? Which is why I need you to get it. All of them are really fun. You've either played or watched them be played. You spend a lot of time looking at board games, don't you, sir? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... 
Okay. This should be Clementine's house. Hello, Clementine. Are you home? Did they just not think to ever search your home? Where's the memory? I see... Are these dust particles or memory particles? They look a little bit like memory particles. I, th I think they're meant to be dust particles, though. I think we're good. Speaking of quadrupeds making cute sounds, my cat is currently covering the heat of my room. <laughs> when I ask why, she just meowed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cats love that heat output, dude. That's basically the only time uh, Katie will get off me is whenever <laughs> the heater kicks on. Clementine, we've been looking for you. I thought you were sent. Never mind. Who are you? I'm Kitty Cat. <laughs> what do you want? Uh. Wait. So Zabaltazar finally decided to send someone. That'd be me. Guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How did you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. Been looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. Uh, I'm going to finish exploring your house. You have a lot of plants, dude. That's not the way sinks work. <laughs> or bathtubs, for that matter. You should probably clean that stuff out, man. Can't be good for the pipes. I like her apartment, though. Like, it's just so different than most of the other ones, man. Like, it's cluttered, which a lot of them tend to be cluttered, but there's all the plants... And there's dart boards. What? All the stuff hanging from the ceiling. Very cool. What happens if we... If we pull the... Oh, are we going to get the drawer? What's in the drawer? Uh, nothing's in the drawer. Is there anything up here? There's got to be a memory or something, right? I can't even sleep in this bed? Hello? Excuse me, game? I think you misunderstand. I'm a cat. This looks like a comfy bed. Let me lay in it. <laughs> what is this bullshit? Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Gotta sleep in the window. Of course. Of course. That makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know if the purring sounds are going to come over the mic. Probably not. The ones the controller makes. It's so damn quiet. I don't think there's any way for me to get it on the mic. So is that really the only point of coming up here? <laughs> oh, you can hear it? Awesome. I thought for sure there was going to be another one of those... Uh, those thingies, the badges or something. Hey! <laughs> Complete your twin sales collection. Seven tabletop classic was just purchased for $15. Thank you for the support, my guy. I hope you enjoy your games. I, uh, like I said, I'll probably be picking those up myself. It'd be a good bunch of games for us to play. Can I mess with the computer? You got it? I saw you got it. <laughs> Purchases pop up on stream. Just what was purchased. It doesn't, like, give away any personal information who bought it or anything like that. But, you know, gotta have that privacy and stuff. But it does say when when things are bought. Talk with Clementine. We're working on the plan to use this old subway for a while now. They even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Necro Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name, but he's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Bomber jacket and gold chain. Okay. Some small assist like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing, don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay, stay clear of the sentinels. Okay. Bomber jacket, gold chain... Need to make our way inside the factory. Got it. You're out of stream for a second, so didn't see it. Yep, yep, yep. 
it popped up. I said thank you. <laughs> thank you again. Our one cat likes to lay in front of the heater too. I said that, Noodle. What, were you not paying attention either? <laughs> I said Katie. That's basically the only time she ever gets off me is whenever... Well, either I tell her to get off me or the heater kicks on. Then she goes running for it. You're sorry you're bathing? I mean, that's fine. We don't want you to be stinky. Do you guys have a bomber jacket and a gold chain? No? Okay. I'll be on my way then. I think I'm relaxing. <laughs> clothing shop I don't even know where that's at my dude <laughs> we'll find it I gotta scratch this door first though I found an unscratched door and that's unacceptable <laughs> the person you're trying to reach is momentarily unavailable Timmy stop messing around I'm sorry we would we would like to contact you about your car's extended warranty sir clothing shop you say huh Hmm. <laughs> a place that sells clothes. If I sold clothes, where would I be? This looks like a bar, but I haven't met these people yet. Hello. Rise input. I tried downloading an aimbot to be the best at this game, but ended up with malware. <laughs> Not sure why, but everything seems odd now. Maybe don't try and cheat, you bastard. Jazam. I've mastered every game that ever existed, but I can't figure out how this one works. I'm not seeing the whole picture here. Wait, pool? Is pool the one you guys are having trouble with? What would they do if I just, like, got all the balls in? Nah, that's same message. I was hoping maybe now that I mess with the balls, they would say something different, but no luck. Change music. What do we got? Oh, we don't actually get a pick. That's fine. Mimuth? Mimuth? <laughs> Drink responsibly, little one. Not like this guy in the back room. What a pity. Rude. Hello. Tonin? The guy in the back is absolutely well lubed, if you know what I mean. Only a big crash on the head would wake him up. Can we do that? Can we knock something on his head? What will it be today, little sir? Our world must seem gigantic from your little eyes. Wish I could be as tiny as you so I could explore new hidden places. Sometimes? Same. So wait, is this the guy that's the, that's well lubed? Wait a second, they're huffing canned air? Don't huff canned air, kids. That is not good for you, man. Oh no, that's the one. Okay. Next room. I found it. I found it. I'm only like three quarters incompetent. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're gonna go somewhere? Can I trip you? No. What are you doing? Oh, wait. You got a, uh, a worker's jacket on. Are you gonna somehow let me into the... to the factory place? The one that's all closed off? Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh, no. I want to, like, follow this guy to the factory, <laughs> but, oh, that's fucking precious, dude. I like that. That's nice. Where'd he go? There he is. Cat in a box is a classic. Oh, I see him. I see him, and I see, I see the box in mention here. Also, clothing shop, you say? That, yeah, I mean, it looks more like a hat shop, but wait, wait, no, no, put it back, put it back. God damn it. <laughs> I was too slow. Nobody can enter the shop while it's being restocked. Seeing how incompetent those two are, it might be a while. Does the box reappear? Oh, it does. 
What happens if I jump out, like, early? Rue, butt the humble bundle. <laughs> Rue, we need you to butt the humble bundle, my guy. <laughs> Make sure you butt it. No, I like, the <laughs> I like the idea of butting it better. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Booty bump it, I guess. It's just... <laughs> He doesn't seem to care that I'm in here. Steel worker hat? Wait a second. <laughs> Hold on. Are we gonna dress up as a, as a fucking factory worker? And <laughs> sneak in? I like the idea of, of uh, little kitty here. Putting on, putting on all the the clothes and sneaking in there. Clothes that obviously do not fit. Okay, you're a sentinel, so we should probably not mess with you. The person arrested was not Clementine. Continue the search. Mm, nah. Uh, off limits? Off limits. Hello. Ow, oh, another peacemaker. Access to outside is fully restricted and the elevator has been disabled. The exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. I mean, look, if he wants to go, why not let him go? Just tell him that it's dangerous. And that he won't be allowed back in unless, you know, you're 100% positive he didn't bring anything with him. And let him go about his day. Yes, love the kitty. You know what, my friend? Stay away from the Sentinels. They're vicious and they got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years, so be careful. Just a light sentence, I see. Kundi? I just walked near the elevator and I got yelled at by the Sentinels. For years we've been told that the surface is uninhabitable. We just accept this as a fact, but why? Too true, my guy. Too true. Hello, are these noodles? Hello. Matt B, what can I do for you tonight, Chef? Wait, my name's Chef? Uh, sorry about your stuff. I didn't mean to break it, but I'm a cat, so, you know, get over it, I guess. <laughs> sorry, I love tripping all these assholes. What is this? Oh, barbershop. Slippy, ouch, huh? What's that weird feeling? Wait a second. Uh, <laughs> dude, your head? Uh, this is awkward. Stylus, you know, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. <laughs> God damn it. Someone had to say it. I showed your link in my Discord also. <laughs> Well, thanks, man. <laughs> oh, God. I'm all for shilling my link. <laughs> Anyone who wants to show my link is uh, is welcome to, I guess. This looks like a clothing shop. Are one of you secretly a robot? Uh, do you have a gold chain? No. Are you one of those young punks listening to loud music all day? Yeah, pretty much. Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for a credit. I mean, you have a puffy jacket on. Sure, that's Blazer. He's a regular. I just saw him creeping out behind my shop. Not sure what he's up to. Wait, didn't we talk to Blazer? He was that, that dickhead that didn't want to talk to us. The one that I thought was shady but just shady enough to probably know where Clementine was and then was entirely unhelpful. Insert item? Insert note. <laughs> Apparently the tape deck didn't like my, my note, man. Nothing, nothing, okay. Oh. Uh, so blazer. Oh wait, you're not here. 
You say we jam on the stereo? I didn't have the option though. I didn't have anything to put in it, right? Or did I miss something? I probably missed something. Uh, Mr. Blazer, sir. I don't remember where you were exactly. Well, they said behind the shop. This is the shop. So maybe this side? Yeah, there's the entirely unhelpful guy. Hi, Blazer. I want you to help with something. Where'd you get that, Clementine? Oh, you're with the outs... My contact. <laughs> yes. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. I'm listening. The battery is powering the Neko Court factory right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Okay, so we still need a jacket. They don't have one in the clothing store? Oh, yeah, right there, dude. Oh, Ozzy didn't like that. Hi. Oh, we're gonna have to trade with him, aren't we? No, 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 you're not gonna steal that. I would never! Uh, but I have the worker hat to go with it, my guy. Um, can we, like, raise a fuss? Maybe we have to do something with that stereo to get him to go to the back. But I think we need to get... We need to get something to put in it, though. Okay, well, DJ, there was a DJ playing at the club tonight. Can I get in there now? Pub's clothes get lost, no. Um, is there a back way in? There's gotta be something. That all looks closed. Translate? If you're looking for some company to talk to about poetry, I live behind the elevator. So he is a poet. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't think... What have I missed? Residency Shop Street Neko Corp. I'm missing something for sure. I just don't know where or what. I'm thinking a tape. Pretty sure we just need to find a tape. I don't see any way in the club though. And that's my best guess of where to get a tape. Okay, let's go back this way. Have we done everything there is to do over here yet? We just went down here. Okay, we've talked with you. Talked with you. Hey, dude, you don't happen to have, like, a tape here somewhere, do you? So there's a theory that suggests we are all inside an underground bunker city. Made up things are presented to us as shadows on the walls, but those shadows are made up by someone. In order to learn the truth, we must exit this underground at the risk of being dazzled. Of course, that's only metaphorical. What are you on about, my guy? I think this guy has had a bit too much of the robot pot. Uh, you here. Oh, there's a memory. How did I miss this? We walked past this earlier, didn't we? 
There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books on the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. Bruh. Record, or not record, tape, please. I was hoping we could like steal the tape from this, but it doesn't seem possible. Hi, you. The doc. <laughs> I got really excited when I saw that, man. I thought for sure we had something there. Okay. Time to keep searching, I guess. Maybe we'll go left. There's nothing but the poet dude back there. There's nothing over here that I'm aware of. Do we take a hint? We might end up taking a hint. Yeah, I'm lost, dude. That's empty. Do you have any idea how I can get it? Yes, I know that. Well, hold on. What if I give you the one piece? Will you then help me get the second? I mean, I found one, but I can't fucking <laughs> find a CD play. I'm trying. <laughs> I figured we need it. Well, I thought tape, but tape, CD, whatever. And I'm guessing it'll be here in this club. Because I remember reading something about there being a uh, DJ playing. But I don't know... Oh, I haven't met you. Kamek. It's the trendiest shop in Midtown, but the shop creeper is pretty grumpy. Cops... Oh, uh, we gotta go back upstairs? God damn it. I didn't think about that. That was like the one place I didn't explore was... I just went straight to, uh, what's her names? Clementines. And then stopped. Um, where are the residences? <laughs> uh, they're around here somewhere. Is it this way? Oh my god, I'm so lost, dude. That was the bar. Here we go. These are the residences. Second floor. Oh wait, no, I did explore the second floor. I must have just missed it. We can go in the box. Someone show up to take this box? <laughs> no. Sadly, no. Okay, nothing here. Find a way to second floor of bar. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Have I guys shown you one of the coolest things about the PlayStation 5? If I press this button and then go here? No, that's video clip. Here. Um. There we go. Midtown. Wait. No, hold on. <laughs> Hints inside. Give a worker jacket. View all details. Ah, oh, it's not going to give me... Sometimes they'll give you, like, actual video walkthroughs and stuff like that. But this time it's not giving me any actual helpful stuff. I know uh, Noodle had to use that once for when she was playing Stray, actually. Still didn't seem to help her a whole lot, but <laughs> damn it, we tried. But first, kill the cameras? What? How do you kill the cameras? 
If anything, you're making me more confused now. Ah, uh, okay, hold on. Well, this guy was complaining about cameras. So do we talk to him again? Uh, where's the residential area again? <laughs> Over here. Can I just spill it? Ah! <laughs> Hold on. So this guy's waving at camera. Uh, this cord's running up to there, but it's unplugged. Is there a reason why it's unplugged? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One has a boom box. One camera has a boom box. One what has a boom box? One person? Robo dude? That eh, person. Are you talking about the drunkard that... No, wait. I don't remember for sure. Muka? Is there any... Where did that cord go? Now I'm just curious. Base floor. Okay, 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 okay. I got you, but there was a cord that came up here. Where does this cord go? Here. Can I turn it on? No? Lame. <laughs> I thought it was an electrical cord. I didn't realize it was a hose. Okay, base floor. Stream that. Well, I realize that now that I see the spigot it was hooked up to. But it looked like an electrical cable from the bottom. <laughs> Boom box. Dude with a boom box, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Grab cassette tape. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? Could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Jinma, Miko, and me. Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? Uh. Life is boring since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. Sure. How do I kill cameras? Do I just like jump on them? Wasn't there one? No, it must be the next section. Hold on. This side. Did that kill it? Okay. I can't jump over there. I should be able to jump from here over to here, though. Come on, you're a cat. You can jump that far. <laughs> Don't lie to me, game. There we go. Okay. Two down. Where is the third? It's the one that he's looking at over here somewhere, isn't it? Maybe? No, he was looking at that one. So there's that one and that one. Where's the third one at? Is it up higher? Yo, I'm blind. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Up, up, up. Was it this level or the next? I think it was this one. Yeah, right there, dude. Alright. Murder that camera. You're welcome. Did you just say up, up, up? Yes. Why? That's not Katie. You don't know that. Maybe I rented Katie out for the day so they could do mocap with our... I almost said schizophrenic. Our, she, I don't know. She could be sometimes, man. Our cat is jumpy as hell. Can I have a thing now, please? Well done. I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You earned it. Cassette tape. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So wait, what's that guy do with bar? Didn't you say something about the bar? Time to make some unwanted noise. 
Oh, it's after this. Okay. Select. I'd listen to this shit. Holy shit, it's loud. <laughs> I need to turn down the volume a little bit. I didn't realize just how loud that was. I just turned my head to the left, saw Twitch, or saw OBS, and it was just like way up in the red, and I was like, oh, fuck. That's loud, loud, my guy. Uh, no, not you. Where is B Bruno? What's your name? Blazer. I did. I got you a thing. Perfect, that jacket is exactly what we need. I'll get dressed now, mind turning around? <laughs> sure, why not? Hey, you got your Wii U? That's awesome, dude. I need to hook mine uh, up, because I got a new one. My old, like, the Wii U itself still works fine, but the uh, the Wii U gamepad just kind of randomly died, and I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. I need to take another look at it again. I'm pretty sure I still have all the parts for it somewhere. Now that I have a couple more tools, I might be able to figure out what's going on with it, but I don't know. Thankfully, though, I was able to get a new one. But I was really mad about it because, like, it was just working fine. And then I went to play it one day and it just wouldn't turn on no matter what I did. Like, it was just dead. It was weird as shit. All the blush on his face? Yeah. Look at him. He's embarrassed. Hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. My guy. My guy. I feel like he should have taken off the gold chains and shit. Make him a little too recognizable. Very important you don't move. I didn't plan on it. Can you like redo it if you do? Or like, is that a no? Or you just fucked forever? Now you have me scared, man. I don't know. <laughs> Do we need to stay here still or can we? Oh, you can get out now. Okay. I didn't know if like maybe this was the checkpoint we actually had to cross. Well, seeing as how we just uh, got into the next section of the game, it seems like a perfect time to quick take quick. Huh? <laughs> seems like a perfect time to take a quick break. Holy shit. Words are hard, dude. One, because it's hot in my room. I need to open up the door, maybe turn the AC fan on or something like that. And two, I'm out of water and I'm thirsty. I'm a thirsty boy. So I'm going to quick a take break, <laughs> as Noodle said. <laughs> BRB, guys. Ooh, chips and salsa sound good, too. I don't have salsa, but I do have a uh, case of Blanco, which uh, is pretty good. It's my first time ever trying it. But anyways, no, break time. Break time. BRB. Maybe we could turn down the sensitivity a little bit or something because man is the camera sensitive also thank you tree okay i guess we can't jump over that can we go around it eh, wrong way i need to invert controls but i can't because it's not an option i noticed that the game is made or at least published by idos which i don't know who owned them back then but nowadays that's a uh, square enix company if i remember correctly didn't they work on uh was it the Tomb Raider games that they worked on? With their newer their newer games? Is he a hobbit? He kind of looks like a hobbit, doesn't he? With his giant feet and big hands. I guess maybe he's not hairy enough. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if hobbit children look like full-grown hobbits with their, their hairy-ass feet and whatnot. But that's what he's making me think of. A hobbit child. Uh, excuse me. Where's the end exit? There it is. Man, the camera, like, I'm just barely hitting it, and it is zooming across the screen. So I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be a case of good idea, bad execution. 
Yeah, Core Design, original home of Tomb Raider. Was just Googling. Okay, okay. Because of how similar it seemed. <laughs> Do you mean how similar this seemed to <laughs> Tomb Raider? I'm confused. Because <laughs> uh... <laughs> because it's uh, it's not feeling too uh, Tomb Raider-y to me right now. <laughs> Similar to you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, just first impression here, you know, just being in it a very short time. It doesn't seem too, too bad. I'm not offended by it, at least. It's Gertie. Could you take me to the village? I need to speak to Grandma. It's urgent. Well... Let me say, oh, now, when you want to leave an area, simply find me, and if you've herded enough creatures for me to take you to the next area, I'll be happy to do so. However, if you don't have enough, I'm afraid I can't let you through. I do not like whoever this voice actress is, or at least the voice that she's doing. I am not enjoying that. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what kind of voice that was meant to be, if it was meant to be an old lady voice or what, but not digging it, man. Definitely was not doing it for me. I'm assuming at some point we're going to get into more like uh, action-y type of elements, right? I'm assuming it's not going to be just collecting things the entire time. Okay, so we got a uh, overworld map here. Interesting. Yeah, I mean... Oh, did we not? I was trying to save. Yeah, save. New save. Yes, save. A lot of prompts just for a single save file. Holy crap. Okay, so level data. Best score. Yggdrasil? What is that? What has that got to do with anything? Gertie's hut. Okay, well, let's just go here then. Uh, whatever. I don't know what the hell we're doing. I'm just doing things. Hoping for the best. Okay. Uh, 16 by 9 game view. Transition. Hello. Oh, God. My voice is dying. Everything is dying. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Your back hurts? I feel that all too much, Rue. <laughs> just, just give it another five years, my guy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to... Hey! Someone made a Humble Store purchase for twenty two twenty three. I'm assuming that was Rue by the Also You're Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, my guy. I hope whatever you bought, uh, you enjoy. I hope you got some good stuff, man. <clears throat> ding, ding, ding. Yeah, no, I don't want to scare you, but uh, the pain only gets worse, man. <laughs> the longer you live, the more pain. <laughs> oh. I got a banana while I was downstairs, too, so I'm just snacking on a banana right now. Trust me, I know. Existence is pain. You love hob games? What are hob games? I don't know, is that an acronym or a, a series, a genre? Hidden object. Oh, got you. Okay. I've only ever played like one or two. I do enjoy them, but like, I've, I don't think I've ever purchased one before, <laughs> just to, to be completely honest. Have you ever tried like point and click adventure games and stuff like that? Because a lot of those are basically hidden object games, but with more like a story and, and some puzzles thrown in. A lot of times it really does just come down to like paying attention to really, really small details to find hidden objects so you can get, you know, that key or whatever to get to the next section. 
then also some like creative thinking you know to take the the water bottle and this piece of string to make a makeshift uh fucking uh grapple hook so that you can climb up a wall so you can make it to the next area i don't know i can't think of any specific situations from any point and clicks i've only ever played a couple outside of telltale games but uh, that makes sense to me oh i had a fun little announcement to make too before i forget for anyone that's watching right now um we mentioned when during the podcast when we were uh, talking about t-shirt uh how like quickly you can make a game like that and I asked if you guys wanted me to make really shitty games and put them out there but uh refusing to to put any more than six hours of work into them and for some god awful reason you people said yes <laughs> so uh yeah I've decided to do it man I'm going to uh I'm gonna make a really shitty game here in the next couple of weeks but again, I'm not going to be spending any more than like uh, six hours on it. That's my cutoff. So have fun with that. <laughs> I'm going to be making a, uh, a new channel on Discord for subscribers. And that's where I'll be posting the link for it and any other ones that I get. Using a cane to reach for a switch or rope. Using a sticky stick to grab something in a crate, etc. Yeah, exactly. Shit like that. Which leads me to believe you've probably uh, <laughs> played a point, or a point and click game once or twice, huh? Alright, I'm gonna with my banana. I just ate dinner, but I needed a snack already, dude. I was starving today for some reason. Ended up, oh my god, you guys wanna hear something really stupid? I went to Subway on my, my break at work because I was starving. I'm not a huge fan of Subway, but they're really close to where I work, so it's just easy. Anyway, so I go to I go to Subway, and I'm thinking BLT. BLT sounded pretty good to me, a bacon lettuce tomato sandwich. So I'm looking at the prices, and I see that a BLT is like seven fifty, give or take a few cents. I'm like, all right, that seems a little bit expensive for just a few pieces of bacon, some bread, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. So I keep looking at the menu, nothing sounding too great at the moment. And then I see the breakfast menu, and I haven't had breakfast from there in a long time. So I'm thinking, okay, breakfast sounds really good. Looking at the things, I see the chicken, or not chicken, the uh, bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I'm like, that sounds really fucking good. How much is that going to cost me? It was like $6.99 or something like that. It was negative 50 cents. They take the same exact fucking sandwich grab some eggs and slap on that bitch and take off 50 cents from your order. <laughs> like, what? How does that make any damn sense, my guy? <laughs> so, hold on. Excuse me, ma'am and or sir, whoever's working the counter today. Um, I would like a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich without the egg, please. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. What? No, I, I just got the bacon, egg, and cheese with the egg because, I mean, it's more food for less money. It would be kind of dumb not to, but I just, I, it blew my mind. I just, I didn't understand. I got, it was like three or four big circles of egg for negative 50 cents on my order. Made no damn sense, but whatever. Anyways, I need to actually finish this banana. I think we can play one-handed. I'm assuming that robot seeing us would not be a good thing. You blame the whole rebrand? See, but like, I actually think some of the food tastes better now after the rebrand. But it does seem like prices went up. Where are we trying to go? Is the question. We can't use the ladders because I'm a cat. So I'm assuming this way. I hope all... Oh, God, don't choke on the banana. That's an innuendo. Um, <laughs> I hope all of the, the robot cameras are that painfully obvious. Oh, 
Oh god. I didn't expect this to turn into a Metal Gear game, I'm sorry. You like the chicken they used for the Chicken Bacon Ranch before the change? You don't like it shredded now? Can you not ask for them to like... Because they have chicken breast still, don't they? Or chicken strips or whatever? Could you just have them change it? It'd probably cost more though, wouldn't it? See, I basically only ever get Italian BMTs. Occasionally like a spicy Italian, but usually just the regular Italian BMT. Um, the ham and cheese. I really... The ham and cheese is okay. And that's about it. Unless I'm like broke as shit. If I'm broke as shit, then I'll get the... Uh, oh, what's it called? The, like, American Club or whatever. The one that's just, like, the cheapest meats they have available. I'll get that one if I got no money. But, and I just, I'm so burnt out on, on Subway, honestly. I don't think their food is that good. I'd rather get a sub from any sub shop, you know? Or pizza place, for that matter. It's roughly the same price and usually tastes better. So, hey, good things you're here. Hey, good thing you're here. Fuck, I'm tired. I don't know if y'all can tell. My mind don't work so good. You can help me. I lost the keys to my place in this dark and huge factory. The Sentinels refused to help me. They told me if no place to go, more work here. <laughs> That's good, dude. If by any chance you could help me find them, I'd be eternally grateful. So can I jump down there somehow? You know, see me. Can we kill these robots by any chance? Hello, my good sir. Hello. Welcome to the stream, OptiJack. There is a board game bundle currently on sale on the Humble Bundle. Nate is trying to convince everyone to get it. Uh, I don't know if you're interested in digital board games or not, but it is a pretty good deal. 15 bucks for, like, uh, what was it? Like, five different board games and a handful of DLCs for those board games. You do love me a good board game? I'm going to be picking them up myself uh, for sure here shortly. I don't remember all the ones. If Nate's not like ass deep in, in the board games himself right now, I'm sure he could tell you which ones. Or I guess you could just do the exclamation mark humble, follow the link and check it out for yourself that way too. I suppose that works. Okay. Where are we actually trying to go right now? Oh, switch, maybe? Hey, look at me. I'm smart. How do I get out of here, though? Okay, okay, we're good. I was concerned for a moment, dude. I thought we might be fucked. How's your, uh, how's your voice and everything feeling, my guy? You feeling any better, worse? I'm assuming we don't have time to stop and talk to this worker. But I kind of want to stop and talk to that worker. Not great. You feel worse? Bruh. I hope you start to feel better soon. Not only because it sucks being sick, but also because I want you to uh, to go out with me on Monday. <laughs> Little selfish, maybe, but it's, it's true, though. Hey, the worker's keys. My guy. Okay. Uh, do we take them back to him now? Can we take them back to him now? I guess not. I'm still working under the assumption that getting in front of these cameras is a bad thing. But I guess I don't know that to be true. It might do nothing at all, but I'm, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I'm just going gonna, gonna to play it safe. They bet it. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. As long as you're downing Dayquil or Nyquil, ibuprofen and cough drops, you feel semi-human. <laughs> As long as I'm doped up on 20 different drugs, I don't know. I feel fine, man. That's good. That's good. That's good, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Might try crack next. I wouldn't suggest it. I mean, it's your life. I can't tell you what to do, but uh, don't. <laughs> maybe, maybe not do that one, dude. I, I need to knock the things off. Excuse me. 
I can't see, but it doesn't matter. I can hear the things falling. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, someone saw me. <laughs> Run away! Run away! <laughs> oh shit, he's still here! Ah, dude! How, when? When did he see me? Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Does he follow forever? Oh, he's in search mode. He's in search mode. Okay, 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 we gotta get him to yellow. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh boy. I have no idea when he even saw us, man. I didn't realize we ever got in front of him. Okay. Well, hey, look, they're not that bad. We can just outrun them. It's Gucci. Why do you feel like the board game called Ticket to Ride, which is about trains, is right up your ally? <laughs> or alley? Ally. Oh, God. I can't English too well. Um, maybe? I don't know. I've heard of that one. That's the only one I've heard of, but I don't actually know if it's any good or not. Okay. So I assume putting the thing on the thing is good. But now we need to get things on the other things. How, though? There is actually the train simulator bundle as well right now, but um, I don't know how I feel about train simulator. Like, actually just running the train or whatever. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Because it takes fucking forever <laughs> to do anything with a train in real life. Oh, here we go. Okay, how do we get you out? The switch is broken. We Maybe we can use this one to get some height to hop up on the other one. And then, yeah, there's a switch on the inside. Bruh, we puzzling good. The original Ricolas are the way to go. I don't like the smell of Ricola, so I refuse to try it. What do the OG ones taste like? I can't tell you what they taste like, but I can tell you they smell like ass. downloading oh one of your uh one of your games you'll have to let us know if you enjoy them Rue. i hope so what was the other humble bundle it was the uh it was the the board games the train simulator thing oh son of a bitch oh the barrel the barrel's number three look at that it just fits so perfectly and what was the other one? I don't remember. It tells me I'm stinky every time I eat them. Ass? Yeah, dude. Eating ass would make you pretty stinky. We ass, Greg. Inheritance of Crimson Manor sounded so good. It's a good name for a game. I'll tell you that much. We got it? Yeah, we did. Quick, let's get out of here before the Sentinel show up. We got to get this battery back to Clementine. Can I take the thing back to the dude, too? I want to give him his keys back. Oh man. I really want to give that guy his keys back. I'm not going to lie. I feel bad. He's kind of forced to stay there and work forever. Can we just walk in now that everything's like, you did the same thing, it's too late? Son of a bitch. <laughs> so the only way to give the guy, the guy his keys back was to just walk in front of all of the uh the sentinel bot thingies just to let them see us is this like a cyberpunk world? wait a second you've never seen fucking stray before this is your first time seeing it yeah it's a post-apocalyptic world all of the humans are dead basically every living thing is dead except for some cats and some plants <laughs> that's about it everything else is donezo dude Oh, and then there's these, uh, like, bacteria gone rogue called Zerks that eat literally everything, including metal. And, uh, that's about all we know, man. Except for the fact that we're trying to get back to the surface so that we can get with our little, our little group of other, other cats. Also, the little robot that's following us around, 
most likely a uh, human consciousness uploaded into a, uh, a robot. And uh, all of these other robots are super human-like. Don't know if they are meant to be human. Turned robot, but they're super human-like. That's for sure. Interesting. Yeah, dude. The the game, honestly, really cool. I have a lot of fun with it, or have, have had a lot of fun with it so far. Um, and if you have PlayStation Plus, it's free on one of the tiers. I don't remember what tier you have to be on, but it's free. If you have it. Mm, where, oh, where is the residence place? Why have I lost it again? Oh. Thought since we took the battery, maybe we could go out now. You know your next sewing project? That's where I finish the pillow? A rice bag for your back? At least it's a rice bag and not a corn bag. Noodle really likes corn bags, and I think they smell like ass, dude. Not good. Where is the, the projects? The, the residential place, man. Corn bag, the fuck is that? It's a rice bag. Or it's a, it's a bag full of corn kernels that you can pop in the microwave or whatever to warm up. And uh, the, cor the corn kernels hold heat so you can put it on like your bag or whatever. Or your bag on your back or whatever. I guess you could stick the corn bag on your sack if you wanted some good heat on your sack for some reason. But uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I would do that personally. Also used in cornhole. This is true. Although usually aren't the cornhole ones like a little bit smaller. Why didn't I use that while my back was hurting? Because they smell like shit, dude. That's why. Also, that reminds me, if you don't play it on stream, you should beat Cyberpunk 2077. I do plan on it at some point. Wait, we've never been here before. Wait, is the residence closed off? Oh, no. Uh, okay. I guess that's why I couldn't get there. Sneak past the gate? Yeah. I didn't realize they closed it off. Probably because we destroyed the cameras, huh? <laughs> oh no! More cameras! And of course that's closed off too, so we gotta we gotta be sneaky sneaky. Or we could just say fuck it and go for it. What are the chances they, they catch me? Oop. <laughs> Probably pretty good if we run right into it. Uh, this away. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hi. You're gone. Oh, God. You don't see me. I don't exist. <laughs> Where's the stairs up, dude? Wait, your grandma got one and still stole yours? What? You can't see me. How have I lost the stairs, dude? Are these things like one-shot kill? I feel like they're probably one-shot kill and I'm going to be fucked. How do we get around you? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck, they are. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, well, that's fun. I still think just running is a valid uh, strategy, a valid strategy for this. Now I just gotta remember how the fuck to get back there. Okay, we're looking for a barricaded area around here somewhere. Okay, not here, not here. Okay, keep going. Right here. Okay, so what's the actual way to do this without getting caught? Oh god, he still sees us. Okay, 
that one's blocked off. Does he? Oh shit, the other one sees us. Run! Run, kitty, run! <laughs> God damn it. Oh no! Oh, shit! Why? Every time! It's fine. It's fine. We got this. Hide in the boxes? I was trying to, but like, I don't know, maybe it's the Metal Gear brain? But I feel like if we hop in the box when they see us, that, like, they'll just shoot the box, right? Or are they stupid? <laughs> maybe, maybe the stealth isn't as, uh, complex as it is in Metal Gear. But that's, that's how my brain works right now after playing so much Metal Gear Solid 2, I think is the one we're playing right now. It's like, dude sees you, you're in danger mode. If you hide in a box right now, they're just gonna shoot the hell out of it and you're dead. It very well may not work like that at all, but that's, in my brain, that's totally how it works. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to go this way. Go this way. And the stairs that we need to get up are right there. So are you gonna like, come down this way or are you just gonna chill there forever? I guess you just chill there forever. Is there a box here? No. So we have to go the long way around if we don't want to get caught. Oh no. Okay, yeah, they're idiots. <laughs> so it really is fine. Okay, well that makes it a hell of a lot easier. God damn it, no, go the other way, dude. I need to go that way. I don't want to wait. I'm impatient. Oh shit, wait, he saw us? Excuse me? How did you see us? We were in the box and then we jumped out of the box and... I'm so mad. I'm salty, bro. <sighs> We're beating this damn section. Right now. This is the last one. Last time. Last try. We're beating it here and now. Calling my shot. We got this. Fingers crossed. Please. Pray to whatever you believe in. Here we go. Hello. Y'all can't see me. I just cute little kitty. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Are those my, my good luck bits? Can we turn off the flashlight? <laughs> I feel like the flashlight isn't gonna isn't gonna be much help in this situation. Thank you. Nubis guide my dumbo friend. <laughs> uh. Yes, they are. They're for good luck. Thank you, Noodle. Thank you, Noodle. Thank you for the, the help of Anubis. Rue. Here we fucking go. Okay, we already know that way doesn't work. So we're going this way. Going down the hall. These guys won't see us. We're fine. This one. Oh, oh, oh. Does he, like, look over here or no? No. Okay, we're good. We Gucci. Okay, go in the box. Stay in the box. Don't move from the box. Just stay in it. <laughs> Jump out of the box. What? Is it sound? Do they hear sound? They must hear sound. Well, at least we got away fast enough this time. I need a box to hide in. I need I need a box. Okay, maybe maybe we're okay. Oh my god, we were so close that one time we came up here, dude. We could have just fucking ran for it. Oh, she packed up and left, didn't she? Clementine? Are you here? Did you go bye-bye? You went bye-bye. I mean, that's fair. Clue board. Clem? Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of a coded message. Gonna have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look, for B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. Sign Clementine. Let's take a look. Plant, rock, uh, bong, and uh, lava lamp. Plant, rock, bong, lava lamp. Plant, rock, 
bong, lava lamp. Okay. There's the lava lamp. You found something? Hmm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? Maybe we have to do it in that order. Okay, plant, rock, bong, lava lamp. Which plant? There's a lot of... There's a lot of plants in this building, my guy. I don't think the toilet was a clue. Oh, potential clue. Uh, I don't think that was a clue. Maybe we need to go up here. Maybe it's hiding up top. Plant. Okay, there's the rock. Again, do we have to do it in order though? In terms of medium value and low purity, the glow seems to have an added artificially. If it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. There's a message. It says, blank, blank, blazer, blank, blankety, blank. Go talk to blazer. Blazer knows where I am, damn it. That's what it's telling us. Okay. So hold on. It seems like we don't have to do it in order. So just inspect everything. Is this, is this the bomb? Can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. It says, I'm with blankety blank blank blank. Blazer, you're with Blazer, dude. Go find Blazer. But I feel like if we don't find the rest of the messages, it's not going to work. Okay, lava lamp and plant. Lava lamp and plant. Coffee pot? Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, we were inspecting the watering can. I was trying to inspect the plants over here. Bike? No. Okay. Can we inspect that lava lamp? Mm, that's a negative. I know I'm blind. What the hell am I missing? What? Okay, you know what? Just inspect everything, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that was an X. Not an inspection thing. Bruh. We already inspected that. Don't inspect it again. Yes, I know what the message is. She's saying I'm with Blazer. That's... No other plants up here? No. And I can't do anything with this lava lamp either, right? Negatory. Uh, bathroom. There was something in the bathroom I can inspect. One odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. It says, come to. What? <laughs> is that what I thought the lava lamp was, maybe? Okay, toilet? You found something? I don't see anything. Are you sure? No, not really. I'm just clicking on everything, my guy. Okay, we've already inspected that up there. Nothing else over here. Bike? Found something? No, apparently not. Bro, what are we missing? There's something up here to inspect? Obviously, I'm blind as shit, man. What do we... What are we missing? We inspected the watering can. That didn't do anything. Nothing to inspect here. Nothing to inspect in here. This apartment is tiny. What am I missing? Bro. 
I'm seriously like, what? What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Worker keys, battery, mysterious message. Okay, so, okay, so that's, that wasn't a plant, the first one. That was the smoke thing. And then we got the rocks. Oh, I see, those are legs. The thing that I thought was the bomb. <laughs> those are, those are legs on a, on a thing. So the last one is a lava lamp. Uh, okay. Yeah, you give us no new information. Thanks. Lava lamp. Here's a lava lamp. A lava lamp with stars in it? I mean, there's this one, but I can't seem to inspect it. There was this one, but I can't inspect it either. Where's the other lava lamp? Oh, there's one up there. Can I get up there? Maybe? No. Shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. The one with the heart. The one with the heart. I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was I swear I didn't even notice this message here. It reads nightclub. Okay, so I'm with Blazer at the nightclub. Gotcha. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Thanks, man. Didn't know I was a lieutenant now. I feel so special. Now, how the fuck do we get out of here? I never want to be in this godforsaken place again. Oh, God. Uh, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean for you to see me. Oh, God. Me every time I go to work. Run, kitty, run! <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm assuming I can't come in here, right? Cat detective. Me every time I go to work. I love that. Same, dude. Fucking same. You can't see me here, right? I'm invisible on this on this ledge. Give up and go home already. What are you doing, dude? Stop searching. Go away. Okay. Guess I just gotta be quick. Good enough. Wish I could just like jump the fuck down. I give up. Fuck. <laughs> 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 That's what I get. That's what I get. I should know better. We outran them so many times, man. And now when I'm actually, like, trying to get caught and just fucking run, I can't do it. Every time I've tried to just be like, screw it, it doesn't work. <laughs> we don't need to reinspect everything, right? We checkpointed. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Okay, there it goes. He's gone, Zo. Run across to your... Should be the same thing we just did, but in reverse. You know, turn around. You stay there. Okay, you're gone. Hop in the box. He's gonna forget about me in a moment. Go back on his way. Oh god, wait, are there two searching for me? Why are you searching for me? Screw it. Run, run, run. We're fine. We're fine. We can make it. Let's go, dude. Uh, can I, like, just jump down from here? Guess that's a no. Oh, God. Oh, God. You see nothing? You also see nothing? <laughs> they can't follow me out here, right? No, okay, good. Seems like they stay in there at least. 
Don't mind the kitty. Where is nightclub? Here it is. Hello, bouncer, sir. It's not for you. Go away. Uh, okay. Can you guys help me get in? I don't think the bouncer's going to let us in. Hey, guys, I think we're going to have to climb at the back again. So what I wanted to do earlier, but I didn't. Hi there. Latte killer. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Why don't you come over here so I can get a good look at you? Sure thing, boss. You wanna you wanna tell me how? There's this pipe. Can we jump up there anywhere? No. Hello, you. Jameson, you have no business here unless you want your legs replaced by something more fancy, which you don't, so get lost. Wow, fucking rude, dude. Guys in this area of town are not nice. Okay. So none of this. I remember Rue said something about the bar earlier. Maybe we need to go in the bar. Listen to this awesome Animal Crossing music. And find our way up. No, or not. Um, I mean, this isn't the bar I meant. Damn it. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, we definitely need to go up. I just don't know where to go up at. We hop up there? Maybe on this truck, actually. Okay. This is progress. Um. We just phased through that. We are a god. seems to be a dead end. Apparently we can't make that jump over there. Damn, dude. I got excited when I saw the uh the truck. I thought for sure that was our that was our ticket. Maybe it still is. Maybe we just need to go the other way. Can we like phase through matter again and no can we not jump just like over to there damn it dude that jump should be doable look at that so close wait wait yes uh or no everything's got those stupid spikes on it to stop birds from getting on shit New to another five bits. Thank you, love. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to go down there. Okay, nothing over here. I'm obviously missing something. There's a way up around here somewhere. I feel like it has something to do with these pipes. And apparently there's some way to get up to him. Wait a second. That right there. Here we go. Jump up here. Hey. All right. Now, do you have hints for us? I mean, I'm assuming at this point we can just get on that pipe. Wait, really? I'm up here now and you won't talk to me? 
There we go. Wonderful. Look at this little cutie. Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for the compliment. You want to get your shower? You can get your shower if you want, love. I'll be down soon. Hey, how'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. Let's go, dude. Let the cat get drunk. Oh, dude, we got dancing fucking robots. This might be too hot for Twitch. <laughs> Speaking of, though, getting a shower and things, I think this is probably a pretty good cutoff point. Yeah, we just had a checkpoint 12 seconds ago, and I do got to get going soon. But, man, I'm happy to be playing more Stray again. I don't want, like, things to not work out, you know, the regularly scheduled streams. But at the same time, it's so nice to be able to play some, some Stray. I do want to beat this game one of these days. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. It was nice uh, hanging out with y'all. Rue, thank you so much for the tips, my guy. Uh, Optijack, brother. <laughs> I hope you start feeling better, my guy. Uh, yeah, no. I think that's all I got. I think that's all I got, guys. I'm super tired myself. Brother Oni-chan. <laughs> Anyways. Good night, Rue. Good night, Optijack. Noodle, Nate, if you're still around, man, and not balls deep in a uh, board game right now, good night to you, too. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I will see you tomorrow, Saturday. We don't do anything Saturday. I'll see you Sunday for, I think, just regular PS2 stuff, if I remember correctly. I think. So, yeah, I hope to see you guys then. Bye-bye. Have a good night, y'all. And as always, be kind to each other. <laughs>